actually this has been with me to a lot of this different school presentations, so it's probably seen better days. But this is a weather balloon, and the weather balloon is filled with hydrogen and helium gas. And the reason we don't blow it up is because it would be explosive. If we were to strike a match if this is fully inflated, it'd be a fireball. And I don't want to get thrown. So this is the weather balloon, and when it's inflated, it looks like this picture up here on the screen. It's really stretchy. It's, you guys can touch it too, so I'll be hanging around for a little bit. You're welcome to touch it. Don't worry about anybody ripping the hole because you are. This is where we would hook it up to inflate it with, with the hydrogen and helium gas, okay? It's pretty stretchy, and the balloon carries with it an instrument called Brought one with me today. It's called a radio song. And I don't expect that you'll probably remember the name, but the reason it's called a radio song is because there's a blue antenna down here at the bottom that sends weather information back to the weather office as it's going higher in the sky. From the time they fill up the balloon and they take it outside and they let it go, it takes about two hours from the balloon to go down here at the ground all the way to the top of the troposphere. It doesn't go into outer space goes to the top of the troposphere and then the balloon, something happens to the size of the balloon. Okay, what do you think happens to the size of the balloon? It gets bigger. Very good. How many have been on an airplane before? And what happens to your ears when you start going up in the sky? Okay, they pop. That's because the pressure goes down as you go higher. So to compensate for the pressure change, your ears pop. The balloon doesn't have ears, so something else happens, and the balloon gets bigger, bigger, and bigger. And I haven't seen this with my own two eyes, but I've been told the balloon gets to be the size of a small house right before it pops. Okay, so the balloon's pretty big down here at the ground, but imagine a small, imagine a balloon the size of a small house. It'd be pretty, pretty interesting to see. How long does it stay? How long does it last? Well, once the balloon pops, it starts coming back down. How long will it step in before it's big enough to pop? It, it, once it gets up there, it just it starts expanding, and then, and then it starts coming back down the ground. About two hours from the time they let it go, when the balloon pops, that's about how long it takes. And I know you're going to laugh probably when I tell you this, but I, I do have a lot of students, most of them are a little younger than you guys, and are always worried about getting hit on the head by a balloon falling out of the sky. Well, the parachute opens up and allows the balloon to float back down to the ground. Now, I was told from one of the meteorologists that works in Wichita who said there has been at least one case of a falling weather balloon injuring something. It was a cow. <laughs> but the chances of getting hit on the head by a falling weather balloon is just not that likely. <laughs> What? It probably wouldn't feel that good, but I don't think you have to worry about it because the parachute slows it down when it's going back down to the ground. So, you guys can look at this too. I got, I, I do have two radio signs you can look at them close. There's a place for a 9 volt battery, and if you look on the side here, it looks like a computer chip. So, this is real lightweight. We put a 9 volt battery in here, and this thing goes up. It's real lightweight, it's carried into the sky, and what it measures is temperature, pressure, and then we track it with a special radar to see, well, which way is the wind carrying it? That's how we can tell which way the wind is blowing out of. I think what's very interesting about the weather balloon, how many have computers at home? All right, most of you do, a lot of people have cell phones, but yet in weather, we still go outside and launch the weather balloon every day, okay? It goes up two times a day, six o'clock in the morning, six o'clock at night. If we think we're gonna have a big day of tornadoes, sometimes we'll do a special balloon launch about 12 o'clock, right in the middle of the day. So this comes back down to the ground, and actually I was about your age, and I was with my dad one day, we were out checking cows, and we found one of these things. But back in those days, this was a lot bigger. This was about two times the size that it is right now. And when you find one, it looks like a giant mess because the balloon's going to have to be all busted up and it's going to be laying there on the ground. You're going to find the parachute too. These two things are thrown away. They're only good for one time. Once the balloon pops, the parachute comes back down, it's all good. 
But this instrument here, you can send back in, and they'll use it over and over. Yes. Okay. Good question. Where is the balloon launched from? Well, we can. We'll turn the lights back off, and I'll show you. 